basically, it's very simple. If you have two points, if you don't have cones, find something, chalk it out, just anything. This one I really would suggest having something visual though and something with some height that you can see over the hood of your car. It's gonna help you be that much more accurate. You can do the exercise without anything at all, but it's gonna be more valuable. So what we're gonna be learning today um, is a lot of car control. Uh, entering, um, and the cool thing is the stakes are really low, right? So we're not going around. We, we found a skid pad. You should be able to find something like this or a wide part of the track. You are not. You don't have this fear of hitting a wall or going off track. So you can really just relax and be comfortable in this moment. And so a couple of things we're going to do. We have our two points. We're going to start with entering and just trying to do, do a donut around this one. Don't worry about putting the nose right on it. Um, if you do that at the start, you're really just gonna screw yourself. So just worry about getting a circle around it. From my experience, every drifter is comfortable going one way first rather than the other way. Um, so do it your comfortable way and then switch and do it the other way as well. Get comfortable, get some donuts around it. Don't go too crazy though, because if you keep doing donuts over and over, you'll, you'll burn them up, you know? So do two or three, let them cool down for a second, let the car cool down. You have to remember, at these slow rates of speed, you're not getting the airflow the car requires to cool down. So if you just come out and do 10 donuts around, 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 it's going to warm up uh, fast. So we're going to start with donuts around one point, and then we're going to try to do a donut and then try to whip it the other way and come around that one and basically create that figure eight. Once we feel comfortable doing that, we'll try it the other way, right? And so we'll do figure eights. Uh, left hand and right hand and then lastly I like doing ovals around these as well but ovals are great um, because now you're having a high rate of angle around this one right and so we're we have a bunch of angle and then as we're coming off here we need to flatten the car out and extend it to that next point but then pour on angle again and go around it so this is a great exercise and this is why I said it's going to be valuable for intermediate drivers as well because this is something I know um, I was missing for a long time, and I'm sure some of you are. It's that being able to increase and decrease rate of angle while you're drifting and using that to your advantage, not just trying to get around the track. At the start, we're just trying to get around the track. So start with those donuts and figure eights, but then the ovals are going to be really valuable. So I think without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to show you guys donuts, show you some figure eights, show you some ovals, and then we'll probably end it and I don't know, do something a little fun at the end. So. Let's get going. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so as you guys saw, I started out with donuts, did them close, did them further away. That's, that's what I was talking about. Change kind of the distance you are from that point and focus on getting those nice circles. So as you can see, some of these are oval, some are donuts. So even myself, I could do some practice getting these more and more consistent. And then we worked that into figure eights. If you saw, I did them kind of different ways. I added in handbrake some, other times I didn't. This is another great spot to focus on learning to use that handbrake. We talk about that in some of our other videos. Always make sure you're clutching in, then handbraking, letting off the handbrake, clutching out. Um, but this is a great spot to start kind of learning what the handbrake really does. And then we went into the ovals, and if you saw those, it was kind of coming. And obviously, this car is super powerful and fast, but the same exercise works with any car, the same technique. I mean, honest to God, I wanted to do it with this car because I thought you guys would enjoy it, as well as to show you that the same exercises can be done at any power level, any grip level. Um, you just go a little faster is really all it is. Um, so with the oval, as you saw, we'd come flying in and then we'd pour on that angle. I wasn't using handbrake or hitting brakes or anything. I was using purely angle to slow ourselves down, do it at the right point so we came around the circle, but then again, shallow out, hit the throttle real hard, let them burn and come back around. So. These are pretty much the exercises. Run these guys, run these all day long. I'm telling you, this is more valuable than just going out and doing some course with varying corners. Get this down, get this concrete. Let's, uh, let's go do something fun real quick. I'll go ahead and uh, check out these other two videos and uh, stick around. See you soon.